I don't, I don't believe guns are dangerous at all. As long as you have the proper training, I, I'm a Second Amendment supporter from the beginning as well. We hunt, fish, camp my whole life. I teach my son the same things. They're talking about possibly raising the age to legally own a gun. They're talking about background checks. And they're talking about getting rid of assault weapons. Would any restrictions uh, be OK with you to make other people more responsible because you're so responsible? Um, well, well, number one, when it comes to an assault weapon, I guess I don't even know what that is. Um, um, I have an AR. I don't consider that an assault weapon. It, it's. We can take it out and shoot prairie dogs with it. We can shoot deer with it. Uh, we can protect ourselves at home with it. There was what was called an assault weapons ban. I didn't name it, so don't come after me. Assault weapons ban uh, in 1994. It actually worked for 10 years, and 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 uh, there was a, a, a sinking, a dip in the number of assault weapon deaths and, and gun deaths. Um, that's what I'm asking about. Yep. Um, I, I don't. I don't think there should be a ban. Actually, the assault weapon. <laughs> is isn't intended for hunting I guess if you want to if you want to call it an assault weapon it, it's for home invaders it's to protect yourself I mean everybody keeps saying you don't need an assault weapon to hunt or to shoot it's fun to use them and do that with them but that's not what they're intended for they're intended for me to protect myself my family that's what they're for. There are a lot of people that think that we have to put restrictions in on the types of guns, the age that people can buy a gun, uh, background checks and those sorts of things. Do you support that? I believe that it's not uh, one fits all and I believe who's in power should make that decision. I think it's just a big mental health factor. If you give a gun to the wrong person, they're going to do the wrong thing with it. Um, it's like the people that do push for the Second Amendment, they are the people that know what to do with the gun have a you know a reason for it whether it be protect their family or shoot animals or do something and it's like if you look at all the dangerous people with the guns and you know it's just the mental health factor and that's why I think you know second amendment is good but it's just the, the it's just the people you know it's not the guns it's the people um, right. and so do you, would you favor making it a little more difficult for people to get guns because of that yeah absolutely because there's going to be like I said there's going to be those people that have the purposes for it to protect their family to go hunting with it and you know they'll, they'll be able to make that obvious and say hey I'm going to use this gun to do this or you know there's going to be people um, that are just not right in the head as far as mental health goes and they're going to you know not do good things with it it's it's not yeah I mean you can do all these things and they would help and I wouldn't be opposed to voting for things like that to happen to raise the age and whatnot but that's not what the left wants to do right now what they are trying to do is take away all guns and that is not that's not a solution who is trying to do that because I haven't seen anybody well okay so previous candidates I suppose I guess it's not in the Biden administration currently proposing to do that but that's how people were running for the Democrat um, to for the, for the vote two years ago is that was some of the platforms of the candidates, and that's just very unattractive for anybody who they want to switch over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was, it was Beto, Beto O'Rourke. Yep. Yeah, and that was, I mean, I'm, again, I'm going to be doing my job here. That was one candidate yep. who lost terribly yes. and had to drop out early, actually dropped out in Iowa. Yeah, well, unfortunately, one guy can, can ruin a lot of things. I mean, that, that image hasn't left the minds of a lot of people because that was a big deal when, when that was said on the panel during the election. So I just feel like... Yeah, even though it may not be true right now, that's going to resonate with people and that's still going to be stuck in some minds. That's kind of how it is. Yeah. Well, certainly we don't want to see anyone, um, we don't want to see any lives taken um, through the gun violence or anything like that. Um, the reality is people who, who um, go through the process of rightfully getting their guns usually aren't the ones committing these crimes. It's criminals, it's, it's people with mental health disorders. Uh, and so I, I, don't, I don't feel that taking away guns would be uh, a correct answer. Um, it, what, what about taking away assault weapons? What about raising the age to buy a gun? What about doing more severe background checks? You can do all these things, uh, and, and even with just you know some of my religious beliefs, I would just say that evil is going. If, if someone wants to commit evil, they're going to. And so uh, that doesn't mean we don't have rules. We should have rules, um, but those who are following the rules should shouldn't be punished for those who choose to do evil.